series is a sum. You're adding up the terms in a sequence, okay, and together that makes a series, okay, it's the sum of all those terms. Finite just means it's a fixed number of terms as opposed to infinite, right, going on forever and ever. So you might just be finding the sum of the first 10 terms, 20 terms, 30 terms, like that. So the form that we're going to be using here is S sub n, so the sum of the first n terms, equals A sub 1, which is the first term, times 1 minus the ratio, that's what you're multiplying by to get to the next term, raised to the nth power, which is however many terms you have, if it's 20, n will be 20, all divided by 1 minus r. Now when you're using this formula, you want to make sure you follow the PEMDAS, you know, the order of operations. You want to do the r to the n first, and then take 1 minus that. You don't want to do 1 minus r and then raise it to the n. You'll get a different answer. So make sure you follow the order of operations and you'll get it. Let's look at this first example here. Now, we talked about how to work with this sigma notation before in a previous video uh, when we talked about arithmetic series, but basically what you do is you start with this bottom index, which i equals 1, and you work your way up 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, and you put in 1 for i, 2 for i, 3 for i, all the way up to 10. The e, the sigma, just means that you're summing up all those terms. So what I like to do is I like to write a few of the terms down just to get a feel for the what's going on. So if I put 1 in, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, times 3 is 3. If we put 2 in, we get 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 to the first is 2, times 3 is 6. If we put 3 in, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, times 3 is 12, plus dot dot dot. So what you can see here is that we're multiplying by 2 each time. See their base is 2. And the first term is 3, so we can see that. That's the first term. And so our ratio is 2. We're multiplying by 2. Okay, but what we want to do is we want to find the sum of the, the first 10 terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our formula. We've got S sub 10 equals the first term, A sub 1, which is 3. 1 minus the ratio, which is what we're multiplying by to get to the next term. If you're not sure how to find the ratio, just take the term and divide it by the one before it. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. That's how you can find the ratio. So that's going to be 2 to the 10th power, because we're finding the sum of the first 10 terms, these n's are the same, okay, all divided by 1 minus the ratio, which is 2. Okay, so let's see if we can simplify here. So this is going to be 3, 1 minus 2 to the 10th, I'm going to do that in the calculator, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so 2 to the 10th is how much? Well, let's see here, we've got 2 to the 10th power, 1024, okay. 1 minus 1,024 is a negative 1,023. Divided by negative 1 makes it a positive 1,023. If we multiply those together, we get 3, 0, 6, 9. Okay, so that's the sum of the first 10 terms. Okay, the next example we're going to look at, here they've written out the series for us. Okay, and you can see the first term is 6. It looks like they're multiplying by 2 again to get the next term. And they want us to find the sum of the first 20 terms. Okay, so they made it a little bit easier on us on this one. But same idea, we're going to use this formula. It's S sub 20, okay, equals the first term, which is 6, times 1 minus the ratio, which is 2, to the 20th power, all divided by 1 minus the ratio, which is 2. And you just have to, again, use the order of operations to simplify that, and you'll get the sum. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, go ahead and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I'm going to be showing you in the next video how to find the sum of an infinite geometric series. So go ahead and check that one out. And I'll see you in the next video.